everyone, so this video is just going to be a watercolor speed paint of a random concept that I have and I don't, well a random concept that I just thought of and I don't know if it's been done before, I feel like it's one of those things that probably has been but I'm not sure. I was drawing a girl in a forest, it was a sketch on my iPad for a while and I decided to finish it and it seemed like it was missing something because she was sitting in the forest and I sketched her holding a fishing rod but that didn't really make sense why she would be fishing, like it wasn't a well thought out illustration. So I decided to put fish in the trees because it looked like she was staring at something. But I wasn't totally happy with the sketch and the way I made it, so I kind of left it as a sketch. I posted it on Instagram, you might have seen that. And then I decided to make a new drawing uh, of the same concept, but I decided to, to do it uh, with watercolor and use different colors. I had a very clear color palette in my mind for some reason. I just really like the colors purple and orange together. I just think they look so nice together. They're not even complementary colors. I think they're more like split complementary, which is why they look nice together. They're not directly complementary, but they're they're close. And I did a sketch of the girl on my iPad and she looked very afraid, but then I kind of like took the life out of her when I sketched her traditionally and I really, really regret doing that. Um, but the way I kind of justified it was that the, the trees and everything have so much movement and are very round and kind of like almost unpredictable shapes with a lot of flow, but the girl is very stable and stationary, kind of showing that she's, uh, it kind of draws your eye to her almost, and then you kind of look at what she's looking at, and then the flow of the trees kind of take your eyes around and takes you back to her, because she's like the, the stability in the painting, I guess, but I really do wish I gave her posture a bit more movement. Lately, I've been doing smaller illustrations just to kind of take the pressure off because doing smaller things just don't take as much time as bigger things, of course. And if I mess up, it's not doesn't take too long to kind of start over. And it's kind of it help, it's help, been helping me be more productive and just make a more variety of uh, paintings by just doing small ones. And they're probably. Um, this one was around a uh, six by eight, I think. I don't even know if that's a standard size, but that's what I made it because six by nine seemed a little bit too long. So basically my whole process for this watercolor picture, I kind of have it figured out now. And what I like to do is I like to sketch in the color that will kind of match my final color palette. And in this case, I used a purple color and then I outlined it with one of my favorite brush pens, which is a Sakura Pigma fine tip brush pen. Actually, you know what? I didn't use that. I used a Copic one, I think, because I'm kind of not really liking the brush pens anymore. I tend to leave a lot of gaps in my line work when I use brush pens, and I'm not a super huge fan of the way I do that, so I wanted to use the Copic one, just like a normal nib. So I outline it in whatever color I decide to outline it with, something kind of like dark um, and ink. And then I do the watercolor, and I like to start off with a wash over the whole thing, so I wet the whole paper, and I kind of put a bunch of base colors down to kind of um, have like a like a nice base for the rest of the layers. And then I go in and color everything in, shade everything. And once it's all done, sometimes um, it'll look a little bit messy. There'll be colors outside of the lines, and if it's looking like that, you can actually use um, pencil crayons to go over top of all your mistakes and kind of smooth stuff out and kind of fine tune the details and put on the finishing touches and often at the end I like to re-outline some parts to kind of redefine the outlines and I find with watercolor this can really really um, kind of bring it all together in the end and it's a really 
it can go from looking like kind of 6 out of 10 to like 8 out of 10. I find it can really add a lot to the picture, re-outlining stuff at the end and just adding more crisp details because that's what makes pictures look interesting and the details can kind of like help you balance it out as well. Near the end of this video, you'll see I have suddenly a bracelet around my my, uh, my wrist because I went to one of those places where you have to pay to get in and they give you a bracelet and I forgot to cut it off for the video, but I guess it'll be a memory now forever on this YouTube video. So it was like a nice swimming place I went to. So that's still on my wrist and it looks kind of, um, kind of like beat up because I was pulling on it a lot, trying to like stretch it out. I don't know why, because it wasn't even that tight. I'm using a whole mix of different watercolors. I've been trying out some nicer ones lately and it kind of makes the whole process easier because you don't need so much of the pigment to get color. It doesn't take very long. It kind of activates with the water really easily and that just makes my life so much easier when I'm painting. So if you can, try investing in uh, a bit more pricey watercolors. It can be worth it. It can really um, save you a lot of time. Overall, I, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Um, I wasn't really liking it that much in the middle stages, but I think I pulled it together nicely in the end, and it, it kind of looks like the way I envisioned it, and I'm really, really happy about that. I, I love the color palette. I really like purple and orange together for some reason. It just looks... I don't know, I just really like that that color combination. So I might, I might be doing some more purple and orange stuff soon. I just... I never realized just how nice they look together. I guess... In, uh, in like sunsets and stuff, purple and orange are kind of the colors you see a lot. You also see orange and blue and, well, you, see, you basically see all the colors in a sunset, but purple and orange are pretty prominent, I think. Maybe that's why they look so nice. Well, also because they're split complementary colors. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I really hope you enjoyed seeing me paint this little illustration. I've been trying to do smaller finished pieces um, because smaller things are more manageable and they just allow me to be to feel more productive because a big piece of art can kind of be really da like a really daunting task and if you mess it up it can it can be so disheartening and you won't want to continue. Um, but a smaller one is really easy to redo so that's why I've been doing a lot of small smaller drawings and I find it's a lot less pressure and I might have already said this but I would definitely recommend that if you're having trouble like um, being productive or like staying if you want to do a bunch of like little drawings if you want to do like a lot of illustrations and you don't want them to all take a lot of time definitely try doing smaller ones it's been helping me a lot lately and I kind of want to slowly make the sizes bigger to like eight and a half by eleven that's kind of my my goal size. Like, I could do it, it just takes forever. <laughs> and if I mess up, it takes a long time to redo it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this. The colors were so fun to work with and going in with pencil crayon at the end really helped save a lot of this painting. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.